Hello, welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so full disclosure, I got this problem wrong when I first solved it. And um, I, I just point that out because a lot of what's happening here, you have to really keep track of all of the letters that they're, they're telling you about, all the probabilities and the given information. Otherwise, like me, you might lose your focus and pick the wrong answer. So this question is actually wonderfully straightforward. And we have to get through the context here, the, the part that's not straightforward, and the math itself is easier to work with. So let's get through it. A fast food restaurant analyzes data to better serve its customers after its analysis it discovers that the events D, so what is D? That is that a customer uses a drive through Okay, that makes sense. D, drive through got it. And F, that a customer orders french fries, so F is for french fries, are independent. All right, so before I go any further, that tells me something. That the probability of F times the probability of D, that they go through the drive through has got to equal the probability of F and D. This is the definition for independence. This is always true. That looks really sloppy. Let me fix that. F and D. We also know if these are independent events, Two other things must be true. That the probability of f given d equals the probability of f. In other words, whether or not they use the drive through doesn't impact the likeliness that they will order french fries. They're independent of each other. And that reads as f given d. So f given d and f is the same. And also the reverse. The probability that they use a drive through given that they ordered french fries would have to be equal to the probability that they order, uh, they use the drive through. Okay, so th these are the things we could say when there's independence. Now from that, uh, what do we want to use here? Well, look at this. They're saying they want to know what the probability of f given d will equal. Well, according to the definition of independence, that would have, have to equal the probability of f, which they've given us here as 0.8. So then the answer is 0.8. All right, hope this helped.